So am I supposed to pretend that this isn't happening? So hi everybody, welcome to Tech Tales. Today we are discussing this shit, which is the PlayStation 5 having internet issues. Now, I hope that they, they released the up, update today. However, that update seemed really specific to the controller. Talking about the controller... Oh, the controller won't charge in rest mode for some, not all, some PlayStation 5s. Therefore, we fixed it. I'm like, what about the fucking Wi-Fi disconnect? And God forbid, if you guys don't know this, some PlayStation 5s that are hardwired are also getting disconnected. So what's happening is, and I don't know if you guys know, there's all these threads, and I, I always tend to go to Reddit, because <laughs> Reddit finds everything, man, uh, in terms of that uh, so let's see I'm, i don't use reddit that often but i do use it in terms of like searching for any sort of like uh problems so so here we have one it says hey hey lads hey laddies I guess he's in ireland today my ps5 arrived i found out that disabling the five gigahertz Basically, my PS5 started to lose Wi-Fi connection and was not able to reconnect until I rebooted it. I found out that disabling 5 gigahertz in my router settings fixed the issue. I played for three to four hours and no disconnect so far. Um, and then this guy goes on to make more pseudo fixes, complete garbage. He says, hey guys, you don't need to disconnect anything on your router. Just try using different SSIDs for the 2.4 and 5 gig. By default, most routers already do that. They already put 5 gigahertz in the name. So, And connect your PS5 to the 5 gigahertz one manually. Okay, so this worked for me and seemingly for others as well. It's possible it worked for him. Did it work for me? No. I am actually one of the pre people suffering from this issue. What happens is the router just like... It seems like the PlayStation Network card fails. And the way I know this is that I look at the settings and there's no more Wi-Fi spots. It doesn't detect anything. It's like it just clicked off. And it would imply that it might be a hardware issue. But the minute you put it, either you reboot it or what I found that I haven't seen anyone else mention in these threads. If you put it in rest mode, it fixes it. So it's clearly a software issue. It's, and it's a lot of PlayStation 5 owners on this thread mentioning that they also have it. So, um, anyways, let's let's see here. System keeps disconnecting. This is 48 comments right here. I'm having the same issue. Randomly disconnects. Same problem here. And he's hardwired. So this is obviously happening. And this was my theory as well. And so when I read on Reddit that hardwired people are having it happen to them i was like click i was right my theory was right and ding 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 in the sense that ding 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 click <laughs> in the sense that uh it is a software issue it's not a hardware issue don't run to return your playstation 5s you're not going to find anymore it's just a software issue thankfully if this is happening to you i notice it happens to me randomly i can stay connected for more than four hours it's just if i start downloading Somewhere in the line of two hours, two and a half, three hours, it's really random. It'll just disconnect and the game will just so the download will just show there's can't download error or something like this. It's a, with like a red exclamation point. So I tried to look at YouTube and not many YouTubers have mentioned this issue. There's one person who did and I can tell he's kind of just relying on the same crap that's in that last thread we saw, which is, oh, enter your 5 gigahertz manually. No, no, that doesn't do anything. You think fucking entering it manually is like a fucking amazing workaround? It really doesn't do anything in the sense of making sure that it stays consistent. Entering the settings manually wouldn't do anything. If it's being fed auto settings, I doubt that's the reason. That That's not a very intense process on a network card. So what bothers me is that they didn't fix it in the update, and I don't really know how to tell Sony that their shit is broken. I don't know how to tell them that, because it's, it's a quite a lot of consoles. You would think... Let me tell you something. My console did not have the issue with... Uh, it didn't have the issue with... The controller not charging in rest mode. Never. 
I didn't even know it was an issue until I read the notes. So if you guys don't think this is happening to other play people's PlayStation 5s, it is. Just because it's not happening to yours doesn't mean it's not a significant problem. So Wi-Fi and good Wi-Fi, it keeps disconnecting and saying failed. Yeah, obviously. Uh, forget the network and res on the PS5 and reset the settings. Yeah, no, this is not going to do shit. Again, these are just bad suggestions. The real I actually had to get a new modem today because of this. Oh god. It's not your fucking modem, dude. I tried three routers myself, same issue. Across all three. All three of my expensive routers are broken. I don't think so. Uh now this guy just says mine won't connect at all. Okay, that sounds like hardware. That sounds like your hardware is fucked. You gotta return your PS5. Uh so, you know, that's really all it is. Uh, so I used ETH. So here's one guy going. I I had the same issues playing Call of Duty, Cold War. Never had issues running my PS4. Then all of a sudden I get random lag spikes with this PS5. I use Ethernet as well. I don't know what the fuck is going on. Sony, you need to fix your shit. You need to fix your shit. Uh so this thread right here, guys, is like 50 comments of people mentioning that they have this issue. My suggestion would be don't return your PlayStation 5. Don't even fucking bother. I went through the trouble. If you are having disconnects, okay, you can try and hardwire it. If, you're, if your router is close enough to your PlayStation 5, hey, what do you have to lose? Go ahead and connect it. But there are genuinely people, it's not just that one guy, I found a few on Discord saying, dude, like, mine disconnects on hardwire. And it's obvious, because it's not a, the Wi-Fi control, there's no Wi-Fi controller module, okay? So, it's technically one piece in the PlayStation 5. The Wi-Fi, so the, there's the Ethernet port, but then the, okay, so it is two pieces. What I'm, but what I'm saying is it's all, it's on the same controller. There's a controller board, so it's on the same area of that controller board. So it's quite obviously an issue with their software, causing the entire controller board to go out. You don't have to be, well, I guess you have to be pretty technical to know that, and I am, so I know that. So my suggestion is, we, you guys, if you are watching this video, let's blow up Sony, man. I don't really know. Someone told me, hey, you should hit their Twitter, man. Or you should hit their. I I checked out PlayStation. I'm like, all they're doing is just like acting like there's no problem with stock. There's no problems on the PS5. Everything is jelly. I there I don't see them responding to people. So I'm not gonna go on Twitter and just blow them up. I think what we we all have to do. If you are if you are an affected person by this, call Sony's customer service line. Look at the back of your PlayStation 5 box. Okay. Uh, you know, let me see. Let me see. PlayStation. Customer service. Okay. Okay, guys. Contact this fucking number. Blow it up. 1-800-345-7669. Let's blow this number to smithereens. And just try and get our help. I mean, let me just make sure this is support. Ah, it says buy phone. Or call the director of legal and business affairs. Let's harass him. <laughs> get a lawsuit on me um yeah so no this is the support line playstation.com support 1-800-345-7669 we gotta call them we gotta figure this out see here's another one same issue the ps5 randomly loses connection every 10 minutes Ooh, 10 minutes okay mine isn't every 10 minutes for him connecting to that different SI ssid might work or some shit like that the manual mode uh, I restarted everything from the PS5 to router multiple times and even installed a router update. No improvement. Oh, wow. Yeah, this this guy seems to have a hard... I think his is hardware. That's... I think his is... His might be hardware. Uh, but then again, this guy right here says, I had the same thing. I tried manual mode. Then this guy comes back with, I already did that, Sherlock. It did not solve the problem. Manual mode versus automatic mode would not do anything, okay? Would not fucking do anything uh, with this PlayStation 5 system. So, oh, for God's sakes, this is why I fucking hate Reddit. If I hit view all comments, it takes me to a different thread. Okay, so 
yeah, this is, it's a problem. I'm on the lighter end. It doesn't happen to me every 10 minutes. It's not like, oh my God, my console will not stay connected. But it's a problem. And it's a problem Sony should fix because it fucking sucks. This guy, get a better, get a better Wi-Fi router, you know? I wish I could download this guy. Uh, I have the best router possible. So this guy has the best router possible. And even he has this problem. I also tested it on three very expensive routers from Netgear, and we know Netgear makes good shit, and Linksys. Don't fucking start with me saying that Netgear shit, okay? I get it. They made some shit stuff before. Not all three were Netgear. I'm just saying one was an expensive Netgear, one was an expensive Linksys, the other was another Linksys WRT54G2. So, annoying. Annoying. That's all I gotta say.